Oh, well, who is Crystal Brown? Uh, I'm a wife, I'm a mother uh, of six. We have a blended family of six. I'm a daughter. <laughs> I'm a regulatory specialist for a um, chemical company. Actually, uh, I've always loved music as far as I can remember. Um, as a little girl, uh, we would go to restaurants and I'd hear piped in music. I was always looking for the band and I didn't know that it was piped music. I just looking around trying to find wherever the music is and um, I've just always loved it. gentleman, um, Dr. Bernard Johnson, playing, he touched me. And when I heard him, I thought, I want to play like that. At the last minute, I got in band, and um, there were only two instruments left. There was uh, the xylophone and the saxophone. So I asked my mom, what should I play? And she goes, she says, well, at the time I was taking piano. And she says, well, you already know how to play the piano, so why would you take the xylophone? Play something, learn something that you don't know how to play. So that's how I started playing the saxophone. I played all the way through high school. Uh, my brother and sister and I formed a band, and we kept our band together until I was about 30. And life happens, you know, as you become a young adult, um, things happen, and I just stopped playing. And my brother passed, and um, when he passed, uh, my sister and I just stopped. Plus, I had some issues going with the prior marriage and just trying to keep peace. So um, I had given it up. And uh, uh, when I married again, my husband kept asking me, he said, well, why don't you just play me a song? I didn't know how much he loved music. And uh, he saw my, my case and he, and he was like, well, just, just pick up something. And I said, well, I used to do that and I used to do that. And he's like, I'm tired of hearing you say what you used to do. So I finally started trying to play and it was hard. It was real hard to pick it back up. But I, the more I try, the more things started coming back like an old bike, you know, they say when you stop riding a bike, once you get started, you know, it's like old times or whatever, but um, I started back uh, playing and, and playing regularly, and uh, my mother would tell me when I first started, she was like, oh, you don't have it yet, keep going, keep going, uh, and I uh, kept on until I finally started back playing and playing at different venues. for a chemical company for 30 years. And I'm, I'm ready to really see what, what the music world is all about. I've kind of held back for so long, and uh, that's one thing, because I, I love to travel. I love to see new places, and, um, and I love, when I play, it's like I'm so excited, and there's something within that's got it in me that I, I just can't bother it, you know, and it's like I just gotta push it out. <laughs> and so when people hear me, a lot of times they say, wow, I, I, that gave me chills or, or whatever, but that's just the excitement that I have when I play.
1st. I've been nominated um, as Best Female Saxophonist for the, nominated now, I didn't win it, but nominated for Best Female Saxophonist in Black Women in Jazz and the Arts. And the event will uh, take place uh, February 28th through March 1st. And um, it's at the Ritz-Carlton in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're not busy, you can come by there um, on the 1st. And also, for more information about me, you can go to um, www.saxlady.net. That's www.saxlady.net. Yes, uh, on 3rd and 4th Sundays, I'm, I'm at Dindy's at 5 o'clock. It's uh, Soul Food and Sax Lady. You're welcome to come, 5 o'clock. Dindy's is located at 4375 Stage Road. And uh, the people there will be glad to see you. I will be glad to see you.